Hi, it's Rachel Levers. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Zillow and Trulia. I was gonna talk just about Zillow, but Zillow just bought Trulia, so on the back end they are a giant entity. But for that specific product, a portal, brand, website, not sure what to call it, but entity, I don't think a lot of consumers understand this based on the leads that I get through Zillow, which I pay for, that the agents that you see on the side of a listing for sale or a foreclosure or a pre-foreclosure, that agent's information is there because that agent paid to be there. This is the computer screen. You got the property that you wanna buy right here. Yay, you're loving it. Over here, you're gonna see me. You're gonna see another agent, agent B, agent C, agent D. And at some point you're gonna pick like more info. I don't know if it's down here or up here or you click on a specific agent, but it's important that you understand that my face is here because I paid good money to be there which is awesome for the buyer because if you're interested in this property, I can represent you as a buyer's agent, but please don't kid yourself into believing that this is my listing and that I can just whip out information about the property and the truth is, if this was my listing, I'm under contract with this seller anyway to look out for their best interest. So I guess what I'm saying is if you call me and this is my listing, you might want to call agent B, C, or D to be appropriately represented. However, knowing that I paid to be there, it's not likely, so please call me. Rachel Leapers, if you like what I'm saying, please subscribe.